Former Houston Astro Dallas Keiko apologizes, I think. Hey guys, it's Josh, the 90 Know It All, coming to you today to talk about some stuff that has happened in baseball. And once again, the Astros are the main focus, and of course they are. They're going to be the main focus for the entire offseason until the season starts. And even then, they'll probably still be the main focus. Um, selfishly, I kind of hope it's because they stink this year. But that's a whole different story. Guys, before we get into this, if you take a moment... Go down and click like, the thumbs up button that helps me out. Uh, leave a comment on what your thoughts are for this topic. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It does help me out. And, you know, it makes a big difference. So, guys, let's get into this. Dallas Keuchel, member of the 2017 Houston Astros, was asked about the cheating scandal. And I think he tried to apologize. I don't think he succeeded, but he sure gave it a great effort of beating around the bush and not really saying, I'm sorry, we screwed up. Yes, we should move on and, and do things differently. One of the things he talked about in his statement when he was answering the questions was that like six of the eight teams used multiple signs during the playoffs. And that somehow makes it okay that they were sign stealing? Come on, Dallas. It's... It's bad enough that these guys are trying to make it seem like they're the victims. But the truth is, teams were using multiple signs because they were pretty sure that the Houston Astros were cheating. I mean, Trevor Bauer had mentioned it at that point in the season. Others had talked about it. It wasn't the first time that teams had thought about the Astros were doing something throughout the season to give them an advantage. Now, we know through the report that Manfred put out that, yes, there was cheating done during the 2017 playoffs. So this just, it bothers me that once again, these players try and push it off on someone else. Oh, someone else did this. Now I know Dallas is a pitcher, which means he didn't really benefit from, from this. He didn't get tipped on what pitches to throw. He wasn't hitting. And even if he knew what pitch was coming, I'm not sure if he, bad in the National League Park against the Dodgers or not, but it probably wouldn't have made a big difference for him. Just he's a pitcher, not a hitter. But he still benefited from the fact that his team won games because of this cheating scandal. They did. They won games because of this. And so it drives me nuts that guys don't come out and just say, you know what? We screwed up. We screwed up big time and we're sorry and we're going to move forward from this and not do that again. We're going to be better than that. You know, if guys just said that, just came out and said that. In fact, you know, an example, a number of years ago when Andy Pettit was caught, you know, using PEDs, he came out and said, yep, I did it. I screwed up. Not doing it again. Moving forward. And he's been forgiven. I mean, completely forgiven, really. I know Hall of Fame voting might be a little tough on him. He may not, you know, get as many votes as he could have beforehand. But he was honest and he came out and people moved on. And if the Astros did that, if they came out and said, you know what? Yes, we screwed up. We made a mistake. Never should have done it. We're sorry. And we're not going to do it in the future. We're going to move on. People would probably be, okay, well, hey, at least they were honest. We can move on. But they won't do it. They won't do it. Even former Astros won't do it. So this is what's making me frustrated. It's what making fans across all of baseball don't just say the Dodger fans are mad. Don't just say the Yankee fans are mad. All fans are mad across the board. I'm telling you, I'm a Mariner fan. I'm mad. There are Padre fans. They're mad. Cubs fans. I mean, people all across baseball are mad because these guys cheated, got their coach and their GM fired, although their GM deserved it way ahead of time before, before that. They got a coach of the Red Sox fired, who was their former bench coach, and one of their former players, before he even coached his first game with the Mets, fired. And all this knowing that they got full immunity so they could not be touched, wouldn't be affected, wouldn't get suspended. Come on, guys. Go out there and just say you're sorry. Just say you're sorry. Don't blame other teams. Don't say, oh, well, they were using multiple signs, so it's okay. It's not okay. You guys cheated. You crossed the line. Everyone knows it. And... It's going to tarnish your reputations. 
Altuve was a Hall of Famer. At this point, I don't think he gets in the Hall of Fame, which is a shame because his stats make him a Hall of Famer. Even, even if he retired right now, you can make the argument that he's a Hall of Famer. But when, he come, when it comes time for him to be voted on in the Hall of Fame, I'm going to be the first person writing articles about why people should not vote for him. He shouldn't be in another All-Star game. He shouldn't get votes for MVP. Nothing. His time should be done. So this makes me frustrated that, once again, another former player comes out and beats around the bush and just doesn't say what needs to be said. And that's, we screwed up. We're sorry. We're moving on. So, guys, those are just my thoughts on what Dallas Keuchel said. And, you know, maybe one of the guys will come out and be bold and say, I'm sorry we screwed up and we won't do it again. But I doubt it. So, guys, I'm Josh, and I know it all. Thanks for listening, and I will catch you guys on my next video.